Tutorial video will review the steps to upload gene sequences, score them and then check out. First, select the genes app and name your project. And then start the new project. Here you can then review the specifications for clonal genes in gene fragments. And then proceed to the next step, where you can either manually import your sequences by pasting them into a genes grid, or you can upload a sequence file. Here is an example Excel file, which contains a gene name column and a sequence column. Let's now proceed to import this file. Please see our Importing Files Troubleshooting video tutorial for resolving issues with importing files. Continue to the next step, where your genes will be automatically loaded into the genes grid and scored for synthesis feasibility using TWIST's Bioinformatics Scoring API. Look out for red error or black not possible scores or a warning sign at the bottom of the pricing summary. These indicate issues with your sequences, which must be addressed in order to include them in your order. Please see our scoring and fixing errors video tutorial for resolving these types of issues. Sequences which score as green, standard or purple, difficult, will be included in the order. To order gene fragments, leave the vector column as set to no vector. To order clonal genes, first select the genes and then choose either a twist catalog vector or a previously onboarded custom vector. Twist catalog vectors are for constructs of either up to 1.8 KB or between 1.8 KB to 3.2 KB. In this instance, all my sequences are less than 1.8 KB, so I will select this vector. And my sequences will be automatically rescored and the price will also be updated. It's important to note that you must set a vector for sequences greater than 1.8 KB or they will show with an error and they will not be processed with your order. In addition, all sequences in a single order must be either all clonal genes or all gene fragments. Sequences which passed scoring will be priced in the pricing summary. Check that the number of sequences priced is the same as the number of sequences imported. Differences indicate issues which you must resolve to include them in the pricing summary. A summary of these issues can be found in the issues panel. As soon as you are ready, you can proceed to checkout. The first step is to choose a shipping address or to enter a new one. And in the next step, a quote will automatically be created for your order. It will then also be automatically sent to your email. You can actually close the browser or return to the homepage and come back to your project from the drafts. Here you can see your quote has been automatically generated and if you go into your email, you will see a quote request email, which also contains the quote as an attachment. Back in e-commerce, the next step is to enter your payment information. Click to add your payment method and to select your billing address. If you have a PO, you can either upload it or you can email it to us. Make sure to enter the PO number and the dollar amount please email us directly for blanket POs or credit card payments. The invoice and actual payment will only be upon shipment of your order. Continue to the next step to confirm your order, where you can review all the order details. And after confirming the order, you will then receive an email confirming all of your order details. Make sure to verify the final sequences attached to the email. Your quote is also attached to this email. Your order will then be checked over and verified. And once it's verified, your order will move into production and you'll be notified by email. After confirming your order, it won't yet appear anywhere in e-commerce, but your data is saved on our internal systems. In future, we will have an order tracking feature, but currently our customer support will provide you with updates regarding your order progress. And of course, you can always contact our customer support for any questions which you may have.